I used to think of Thule as a company that made roof racks for car camping, but recently I've been very impressed with the quality of their travel gear. Recently I've tried out several of their packs, including the Chasm and the Ion 28, and they're quickly becoming some of the favorite bags that I've tested this year. Which is why I was excited when I saw they came out with a line of packing cubes, so I wanted to give them a try. So far I've been mostly using Eagle Creek Isolate packing cubes. Before I jump fully into Thule, I wanted to test out one cube, so I decided to go with the same size. This is a medium compression cube. The dimensions on this thing are about 14 long by 10 inches wide or 36 by 25 centimeters. I like this size because the 14 inch width is a common size on a lot of travel backpacks and I find it fits in most of my bags very easily. And then just for comparison, the Eagle Creek Medium Cube is basically almost identical width and length. I'll show you later, there is a slight difference in width, mostly because of the gussets on the Thule Cube. And then also worth noting, these also come in a smaller size, which is about 10 by seven. You can buy the medium and the small cubes in a set, or there's a slightly larger clean dirty cube, which has two compartments that are divided by a clear separator. The fabric over here is a lightweight nylon. You can see through it. It's got a decent stiffness to it, but it is a little bit thicker than the Eagle Creek cube. And then if you can see, there's this diamond pattern on here, which looks to be more a design on the fabric as opposed to an actual ripstop. And interestingly, it almost seems like there's a wire frame going around this cube. It's more of a function of where the main fabric meets the zipper fabric. They kind of rolled it over. Almost feels like it gives this cube some structure. And you can see when I stand this cube up empty, it keeps its form. Almost feels like it has a frame in there. It's going to make that much easier to pack. As opposed to the Eagle Creek, much thinner cube, this thing doesn't have that same structure. However, that extra structure and thickness in the fabric does have a cost. It's a little bit heavier. This Eagle Creek cube weighs in about 2.8 ounces, around 80 grams. Well, the Thule cube is about 50% heavier, around 4.2 ounces or 120 grams. Now I'll quickly pack these cubes up to show you how much they can hold. And I'll go over what I like and don't like about each of these options. Generally when I travel, I like to use one of these medium, around 14 by 10 packing cubes for the main bulk of my clothes, pants, shorts, shirts. And then I'll use a smaller cube around 10 by seven for the smaller items like socks and underwear. I'll start out with a Thule cube because as you'll see, it can hold quite a bit more. And then for reference, I pre-packed this thing. I'm gonna have two pairs of pants, shorts, four t-shirts, and two short sleeve button-up shirts. And just for reference, I don't think you need to try too hard on your folding style when you're using compression cubes, because the cube kind of takes care of that for you. I used kind of a loose fold on the pants and the shirts, and then I just rolled the t-shirts. I think the best method for packing these cubes is to start with the compression zipper open. Just stuff all your clothes in here, and then you're gonna shut the lid and work the zipper around. This is what the cube looks like uncompressed. All those clothes in there. And I will just go ahead, run that zipper around, kind of press it down to help you out. And then this is what the cube looks like in compressed mode, saves a decent amount of room. And then just to show you over here, they put these little gussets on the corners on the top and the bottom fabric, which is gonna allow this thing to hold a lot more than the Eagle Creek Cube. So you can see this is just a smooth piece of fabric on the entire top here. There's no gusset here. So this isn't gonna be able to hold as much and the fabric is gonna kind of bulge out more. It's gonna compress a little bit better, but it's not gonna hold as much. So I already tested this out and I can fit everything over here into this cube minus one of the pairs of pants. So over here, I'm gonna have pants, shorts, four t-shirts, two short sleeve button up shirts. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing, pack the cube up, unexpanded, close the lid and work the zipper around. And just to show you from the side, you can see these cubes are basically about the same height, this length and this compression Zipper is about the same, so all that extra space on the Thule cube is really coming just from this gusset. Now, 
work this zipper around. It does help to press down on it. And this fabric is a little bit thinner. I find it helps to kind of stick your finger in between the zipper and the fabric. It's going to help it to not get caught. So this is the Eagle Creek Cube fully compressed. And I think this thing compresses it quite a bit more. It does put a lot more pressure on it because the fabric can't escape through those gussets on the side. This just has one less pair of pants, which are pretty thin, but it's quite a bit thinner. So one of the functional benefits, I think, of the Thule Cube, because the fabric is a little bit thicker and quite a bit stiffer, is that the zipper rarely gets stuck. It's much smoother when you're running around and compressing the cube down. This was a bigger problem on the older style of the Eagle Creek cubes. The fabric is really, really thin, and I would constantly get the fabric stuck in the zipper when you're trying to run it around, have to move it back and forth to get it unstuck. They largely fixed this issue on the updated models, the one they sell on the website right now. It's still a very thin fabric, but it's just slightly thicker and stiffer than the original. However, you might've noticed it does kind of get stuck a little bit. You have to squish it down a little bit more to make sure the fabric isn't sticking out. And then it does help to stick your finger in there so the zipper doesn't get stuck in the fabric. And then you may have noticed the Thule Cube opens from the side like a clamshell. Well, the Eagle Creek opens front to back like a panel loading. I packed both these cubes up a bunch of times and I don't really think it matters one way or the other. Maybe just more of a personal preference thing. And then to comment on the quality, I do like how Thule use these larger name brand YKK zips. Well, Eagle Creek uses a smaller off-brand. It gives me confidence that this thing is going to last a long time. And while these cubes are roughly the same price, there's a noticeable difference in quality between the Thule and the Eagle Creek. The zipper that I mentioned earlier, this fabric is just quite a bit thicker and stiffer. However, this comes at a cost in the weight. The Thule Cube is about 50% heavier than the Eagle Creek Cube. And while these cubes are very high quality, they are quite expensive. This medium cube is about $25. The small is around $20. And you can buy the two in the set for about $45, which is quite a bit for a set of packing cubes. I would encourage you to check sales. I got this thing on the 25% off sale at REI, which I think makes it a much more reasonable price point. And in hindsight, I probably should have just gotten the whole set. In summary, I think this is a great cube. Eagle Creek is also a great cube. I really don't think you can go wrong with either of these. And because they're basically the same price, the deciding factor for me is gonna be weight, durability, and capacity. I've used Eagle Creek cubes for years. I've never had an issue with the zipper breaking or the fabric tearing. However, they do use off-brand zippers and the fabric is rather thin. If you think that's an issue for you, you want something that's gonna be a little bit more durable, name brand, larger zippers, or you're really hard on your gear, then you may consider the Thule ones. And I think the capacity makes a big difference too. Well, these are roughly the same size, length, and width because of those gussets over here on the Thule Cube. This thing is gonna hold a decent amount more. So if you're more minimalist, you like your clothes nice and squished down into the sleek, compact package, then Eagle Creek is a great choice. If you have a little bit more clothes, going somewhere colder, you need to carry a little bit more, then you might want to think about going with the Thule Cube. That's all I have for this review on the Thule Compression Packing Cube. This is the medium size. Also, comparison with the Eagle Creek Packing Cube. I'll put links to both of these in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And again, thanks for watching.